when you're feeling really down but then you come to my videos because you're like hey taylor has a bad life let's watch her it's okay it's just a new intro to my videos bye hey guys what's up hey guys, what the freak was that hey guys what's up Oh my god, what is wrong with me? I'm like so weird and awkward in front of the camera. I've done this intro 10 times already. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> That's not what I would. Hey guys, what's up? So, first of all, I want to show you guys my new merch. It says Mean as Hell. You poor, poor little child. Your shirt says metal. M E T A L. Mattel. I'm embarrassed. I'm just kidding. This is from Hot Topic. I wish this was my merch. It would be so cool, right? So I thought today I would tell you guys a story time. And you guys like hearing about my horrible past relationships. And I don't blame you. Sometimes it's fun to reminisce a little bit and then be like, God, you know, I'm so happy I'm not in that anymore. Because there was a time I was just like, is this all that there is to life? Okay, that's depressing, sorry. I'm gonna tell you guys another story about me and my ex... <laughs> Husband. <laughs> I really hate saying that. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna link some videos below to kind of catch you up to date because a lot of people still cannot believe that I have been previously married, which is okay. Like, sometimes I can't either. I'm just like, wow, did that really happen? I don't know. Let's get into it. I had literally one friend and she lived hours upon hours away from me because she moved away. She hated living in a small town and I really struggled to not have her in my life whenever she moved. But I was happy for her, don't get me wrong. It's just like, I was completely alone. I had no one. Uh, and talking to her on the phone was just getting really difficult because she was doing different things in her life and meeting new people. And it's just, it was hard for me to relate. And it was really hard for me to hear because I was just, I was so not jealous, but I don't know. I wish that I had what she had. Like she was doing everything I wanted to do while I lived the same life day to day, you know, going home to a person that I didn't even love, which was my ex-husband. So I was miserable and miserable without her. So she tells me that she's coming in to visit and of course I'm excited. I think she was just going to be visiting for like three days, which isn't that long, but I got to see her two out of the three days. And the one day I just went up to her parents' house and hung out with her for a little bit and then I went home. Then the next day, I think it was Saturday, I was just like, hey, do you want to go out and go get food and stuff? Let's go do something. I told my ex-husband, I don't know what I have named him throughout these videos. Like, I feel like I've gave him random names, but I don't remember them. I'm just going to say ex-husband. He knew that I was hanging out her he knew that she was in town and of course like he he was okay with it it wasn't such a controlling relationship it was just one of those relationships where he was used to me not doing anything and we never really had like a problem in the beginning about like uh trust issues and whatnot so that wasn't like a big deal so her coming in wasn't a big deal he just told me to be careful around her which i don't know what the heck that meant her and i decided to go out on saturday and we're going to go out to eat with each other we go to like a mexican restaurant that is like 35 minutes away from where she lives which to me that wasn't bad it like gave us like a good drive and stuff you know we had a lot of fun and we get there we're just reminiscing and talking and literally having the best time. I was just so happy to be with her in her presence. I was excited to see my friend that I have not seen in almost two years since she had moved. So after we get food and stuff, we decide like, let's ride around even more. Like, let's go on an adventure. And she's like so down for it. Like, we're literally the same human. It didn't matter what we, we did. It was just spending time with each other. So we went on a little adventure and like cruised around and ended up in a town that is 25 minutes away from the Mexican restaurant that we went to. <laughs> there was like this casino. It's it wasn't even a casino. I'm not even kidding. Picture a shack looking thing. Oh, wait, I got to give it some credit. Picture like a small bar, like the smallest bar you've ever been to. And if you haven't been to a bar, like just picture a really small room. It smelled like old lady's house. It had three slot machines in it. One old, old man 
and he looks like he, he had never moved from that slot machine. Two people at the bar, which was the bartenders. It was dead. We just like sat, talked to the bartenders like, hey, are there anything to do around here? And they were like, uh, no, not really. Just like babbling on and we decided to leave and we went back to her house. I stayed for a while and then I dropped her off. So our adventure didn't really last for too long, but it was just funny that we ended up at like this random casino that wasn't even a casino. So after I dropped her off, hugged her goodbye, made sure that she was going to call me so I could tell her goodbye the next day because the next day is whenever she was going to leave and go back to uh, where she moved to, which was really sad for me, but I had a great time with her. Her house was like 15 minutes, not even that from my house. I forgot to tell you guys that my ex-husband, he was a police officer and he worked that night, by the way. And he didn't really talk to me that much. He didn't text me. He was just like, you know, making sure I was okay. Like, hey, you good? And I'm just like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> so it was like that kind of thing. I remember whenever I pulled out of her driveway, I was like, three minutes away from her house and then I see a police car behind me. I'm like assuming that it's him but I really don't know because obviously like he works the night shift and it could have been anyone so I couldn't see um, and I wasn't gonna pull over because it's nighttime weirdos are out. I was like almost home so there was no point. By the way like he would like in his police car like he would patrol like the area so I don't know if he was watching me if he watched with his lights off to see whenever I pulled into her house like I really don't know but honestly for him to be in that area where her house is at is it's like the opposite side of where we live it was just like weird and I don't know why he was there So it made no sense to me, but I, that didn't like click until now. Yeah, the things that you realize. So I assumed it was him, so I sped up a little bit because he was driving super fast like these police officers in my hometown always do for no apparent reason. They just like to drive super fast and whenever there's not anything going on, I don't know why, they like to run red lights as well. They do a lot of illegal stuff that they wasn't supposed to and I'm not talking about all police officers, I'm talking about the police officers that worked in my town. I started speeding up and it was only because he was speeding up. He was like on my ass, you know? Like I was so confused. Like I was just like, oh, okay, this is him, but we're almost home. So I'm just gonna wait until I get home to see him. I pull in our driveway and he pulls up behind me and he shines a flashlight in my eyes. Me getting ready to get out, like we wasn't like in a bad place or anything. We were like, we were good to my knowledge. I was literally going to get out of the car and like, hey, and it just went downhill from there. He shines the flashlight in my eyes like I've committed a felony and I was like, whoa, what are you doing? I was just like, have you been drinking? And I was just like, no, what? No, I haven't been drinking. Why would you think that? And he was just like, I saw you swerving all over the road. Okay, one was not swerving. Two, you were on my butt and would not get off. I thought you were literally pushing me up the road. You know, you do this crap all the time, on duty and off duty. So I don't know what you're trying to get at. So we get upstairs and we're like bickering back and forth, arguing till we get into the apartment. And then he was just like, I'm calling your mom. Hold your horses. Why would you call my mom? We're married. <laughs> and he was like, okay. Hey, if you didn't do anything, then take a breathalyzer test. Oh my God. I was so ticked off. Just imagine someone trying to accuse you of that. Like people already do not like cops that much anyways, because some of them are very mean. Just picture like a cop that you have to be married to and see all the time and that is being an asshole to you yeah like that's not fun i turned into this unicorn <laughs> um i was fighting him on that like no i'm not taking the breathalyzer test you're not gonna make me i didn't do anything wrong 
and he told me that I was never to see her again. He told me that he was going to call the cops on her parents, go up her house and confiscate stuff that, that he knows that's up there. And I'm just like, there's, what are you talking about, you crazy psycho? There's nothing there. And I told him, I was like, go ahead, call the cops, get them up there. Like, I don't care. You'll look like an idiot. He was just like bad mouthing. He was like, I'll make sure you never see her again. This is my friend. Like, I haven't seen him two years and just picture like I was as a girl since him and I was together I would only hang out with him I didn't have any friends like he wasn't like my type of person anyways him and I were very different I don't even know how he claimed nobody in my town I really matched with uh, we were very different I was into different things and I really just settled for just I have to be with a guy that likes Hunting. I texted my friend and I was just like, you know, get a load of what he's doing to me. This is insane. And she was just like taken back like, what the heck? I remember whenever I told her that I was getting engaged to him, she was just like, Taylor, like, I knew, I knew it was a mistake, you know? Like, I remember she acted sort of happy for me, but she didn't really act happy for me. And I was upset with her, you know, because I'm just like, my best friend needs to act happy for me. But she was just like, I knew he wasn't good for you. I knew he wasn't the one. Yeah, she told me in the beginning and I didn't even listen to her. But now I see why. Him and I continue to hate each other. <laughs> I think I just resented him for that. I don't even think he apologized. Like that's when our relationship like was so bad that I would just look at him and be like, I hate you and mean it and not say sorry for it. Just because we were at that point of it was too far gone. Just more bad stuff happened after that. The funny thing is, is that like, you know, I go out and I have a good time with my friend and we don't do anything. We're just like, you know, just being girls, like talking. Like girls love to talk, believe it or not, guys. Girls just love to talk and chat and gossip and just yell and scream Paramore song. That's what we love to do. But um, the funny thing is, is that I think he became very insecure whenever he went on his trip to California for the military. I might turn that into a story time. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's something that happened to him. I'm pretty sure he kept something from me that involves cheating and trust me like I've pieced all this stuff together like it doesn't matter now but like in the past like I've pieced all this stuff together. But yeah I'm pretty sure he caught something whenever he went to California on his little military trip. And um, if you guys want to hear about that, about how that went and how I figured out everything, then, you know, like this video and I'll I'll spill the, the tea, bro. Spill it because it doesn't even matter now. Like, it's just something that happened in my past and I look back at it and I'm just like, I'm okay. I'm definitely okay. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this story time. Sorry it wasn't really that funny. It was kind of just like tea and gossip. You know, a glimpse of what happened to me in my past and hey, if you're married and you're going through the same thing, you can relate. It gives you something to relate to and like look at me now. I don't know if that's like a good thing to say, like look at me now. Please like the video, comment down below, anything you want. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!